right here we go it is season two we had a break <laughs> actually it was an unplanned break but it turned out to actually be a very important break and you'll hear more so we are turning this resumption into season two episode one so welcome back to the expectancy mini series we are happy to be back with you and uh, you are certainly going to realize why that break occurred so welcome to episode one of season two to get us going you're gonna be hearing mostly from Latoya in this episode I've decided to give her the entire short today so here we go hi guys i don't know why i got the entire show for myself tonight this evening but here we go welcome back to our channel as you know this is season two episode one of our pregnancy yes i'm still pregnant i'm still pregnant i am so very pregnant right now and so we're going to kick things off with what happened during the break it has been a very eventful <laughs> eventful kind of a little bit of stress because i stressed myself out a bit scary scary not too scary but scary enough and so we're gonna take you through no want to be too long take you through through some of the things that happened so while we were on break i had a series of hospital visits and just to be on the safe side so, uh, which one should we mention first? The asthma? Yeah. Okay, let's go. So, right after our gender reveal, which you guys were all at virtually, and those of you who were there physically, the week of the gender, after the gender reveal, I woke up one morning with tightness in my chest, difficulty breathing, and I was like, babe, I don't like how I'm feeling. We need to go because I've never felt this chest tightening um, since I was 13 years old. So I guess, so hear this. When I was 13 years old, I had an asthma attack. Now asthma is in my family, but the last time I had an attack was when I was 13 years old. Went to the hospital, got nebulized, and I was admitted at 13. And that was it for my asthma episodes. And that's like more than a decade ago. Right? Holy <laughs> more, more than a decade ago. Oh, excuse me, excuse me, this is my story, excuse me. <laughs> Anyways, that like was, you're in your 20s. <laughs> so I was 13 years old when it happened. So the morning when I woke up, chest felt tight. I could hardly breathe. I was like, Jesus, I panicked. Oh, hold, that, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And it, it was not COVID, okay? Because I know some of you probably thinking right now. You're preempting the story, man. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I, just had to... <laughs> I was gonna go in there. You're preempting. Okay, okay. Yeah, other it's... excitement happened at the hospital. Yeah, it's your episode. It's your episode. Yes. So let me just side note this. Each time, as a pregnant woman, when you visit the hospital, whether at the anti ward to be checked, they are going to COVID nineteen test you, vaccinated or not. You do a PCR, you do a, a, a antigen test. So my nostrils burnt me every time. So this was not fun. So this particular morning when I went to the hospital, because my chest was tight, had difficulty breathing, I did a, a quick swab and I, I had to do a PCR. They isolated me. So guess what? The hospitals are really working to get this thing under control. And they are, they have things in place for this COVID-19 thing, right? They have things under control. I was isolated until I got back the results. So that was a good thing because they did not want to mix um, non-COVID mummies with, you know, a possible case or an exposure or whatever. So that was good. I really appreciated that of the hospital taking care of the pregnant mummies. Anyways, I was isolated. My tests came back negative. But then I was nebulized right throughout the night. They kept me. They they took my, my oxygen. So my oxygen levels 
were a bit lower than they ought to be and they didn't want to send me home with that low oxygen level and so I overnighted there and I got nebulized throughout the night got medication they wanted to watch me just to ensure that baby's okay mommy's okay uh, in the morning when I saw the doctor, the prog is a prognosis there or diagnosis? Is a prognosis? Uh, uh, prog, dia, yeah. uh, whatever. I'm not sure. So, you know, they question you. <laughs> conclusion. History, <laughs> the conclusion history, of the matter. <laughs> when last you felt this way? And so on. And then when the doctor visited me the next morning, it was an acute asthma attack. I had not chronic, not severe, but an acute, um, you know, asthma. And I'm saying, when you're pregnant, one, Certain things that happened long time can actually come back. Some things that you don't have, you can actually develop. It's so weird. Babies do weird things to mommy, to mommy, to mommy's bodies, and that was a weird thing that, that happened to me uh, that time. So I was put on asthma inhalers for like almost a month just to make sure that my chest didn't get tight, and if I felt a certain way. I should administer the the inhalers myself. So that was a scary little little episode. And then the next time I went back, two weeks after that, baby, right? I exactly came, two weeks. Exactly two weeks after that. Two weeks later. And this time we were like thirty three weeks pregnant. Yeah, they're both because I had it wrong. I was calculating myself like a week back. When I'm actually a week ahead, so baby's gonna come sooner than very, we very soon. <laughs> so the last time we went back, I was having contractions. These are Braxton Hicks contractions, otherwise known as false contractions, or you know, prepping the uterus, prepping itself for the baby to come out just in case, you know, mommy goes in labor. So the uterus contracts and gets ready so it's like a practice mode so we went to the hospital braxton <laughs> hicks well, i wasn't in labor it was just you know practice happening and i was dehydrated that same time as well so dehydration also can cause an onset of braxton hicks so mommies i didn't know this this is my second pregnancy but it still feels new if you get dehydrated it can really set off contractions that's Brax braxton hicks so they had to the worst thing i hate about hospitals right now they had to iv me and they had to give me fluids because giving me a glass of water or coconut water at that time wouldn't have helped so they had to give me an iv give me some fluids you know examine me which they always do and then i was sent home that time thank god because if I'd stayed, I'd have to do a number of COVID tests and I couldn't bother. I'm glad they do that, but I couldn't bother. So, twice in the hospital. Uh, then after that, I we went to see our doctor for, you know, antenatal checks. Each time we go, doctor checks to me, make sure that I'm okay, we are okay, we are doing fine. So... <laughs> Baby is healthy, baby is kicking, baby is somersaulting, baby is high-fiving, baby is playing football, baby is doing gymnastics, and baby is sitting on mommy's bladder, and so I pay 152 times now <laughs> for the day, especially at nights, I pee, like really pee. Um, Which is probably going to make you want to drink less water. But then, of course, you have I, to drink more water to, to keep hydrated. So, another of the challenges of this wonderful exactly. mystery called pregnancy. Exactly. And then again, it's important to have a partner with you, somebody with you. So, baby, you were there when my back hurt, swollen. That's me. Everything. Babe, my back hurts. My tummy hurts. She's sitting on my bladder. She's sitting way down in my pelvis. So it hurts. And let's talk about the, the, the cramps. Sleeping for, on one side for 10 minutes. Then on the other side for 10. Where do I get time to sleep during, during the nights? It's crazy. But it has been a fun journey so far. Totally different from when we were pregnant with Zach and ACL. 
and this baby has brought on some weird things but we're doing good so far and then guess what we are like a couple days away before we meet our little princess yeah so it's down to days now like literally <laughs> down to days but let me tell you um, something uh, you can put your guess in the comments below the video yes as to how so many two days guesses. yeah how many uh, days and how much you will win let's see and the person who guesses three guesses closest uh you get what maybe some credit three guesses digital flow some her weight money <laughs> money you have money <laughs> no, he's always talking about money right <laughs> <laughs> I know. So let's put three I guesses out there. Three guesses. You can't I enter. I know how much more. Exactly. That's why you can't enter. And you can't tell them either. So there are three guesses, guys. Her weight, what time she'll be born, and how many days. That's right. Yeah, how many, how many days left to go? So that one will give out the will award that one this week. So mm -hmm. make sure you you like the video. Make sure you subscribe if I you haven't guess. yet subscribed to the channel. Guess the mm -hmm. number of days left to go, um, and uh, we're gonna give that credit mm, next week. Yeah, next weekend, Lord can, willing. Can I throw in another guess? Sure, go ahead. And will she look like mommy or daddy? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't like that one. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like that one. That one is too. So I think that one is too Will subjective. Will she look like mommy or daddy? daddy? Mommy, did I get you that? <laughs> Will she look like mommy or Orange, daddy? Or would she look like Zaken? Show them your cute face. <laughs> so stick around. We have we have literally days to go, but these days they I seem mean, like forever. Seem like forever. I feel like I feel like she's over baking. Yeah, I feel I think that way too. I think she's like super ready. But you know these doctors, they always try to keep them in there for as long as over. possible. I think they love to walk. Yeah. So um they've given us a date. So that's the date you want you to guess how many days from today's date are left to go. But of course at the end of the day, when she's ready, she's ready. So Thank you guys for tuning in and see you on the other side. Not sure if you'll see us again without the belly or with the baby. <laughs> but whichever yeah, way you see us. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, yeah, but um, those of you who believe in prayer and those of you who know yeah. to pray, yeah. please continue. Yes. Continue to pray. Um, yes, yes, yes. You know, it's not over until... So she's when, actually she's here and um so healthy bouncy baby. healthy bouncy baby that's the prayer and um thanks thanks for the prayers over the time thanks for the encouragement thanks for the chairs thanks for the support mm -hmm. and um we'll see you soon bye cheers <laughs>